Hi everyone, my name is Dayang and today I'm going to walk you through the process of creating a new application using the Generative AI plugin. So today, I'm actually going to create an application to track claims in a straightforward manner. So we begin with the App Center. I'm going to go ahead and log in as admin. Uh, Alright, so here we have the App Center. I'm going to go ahead and design app. And I'm going to click on create new app. So here we can select generative AI and I am going to go ahead and give the ID of travel claim app. And I'm going to name this app as travel claim app. Okay, so here we're going to describe what the application is going to do for us. I'm going to go ahead and type, um, let's say generate a travel claim application that collects all required information in one single form. Okay, so we are going to save that. Now it's going to generate the application for us. We're just going to have to wait. It might take a few minutes. Okay, so when it's done generating, we're going to open up the App Composer. It's going to open automatically. So here we can see the Form Builder, List Builder, UI Builder, and Process Builder. So we're going to look at the process builder first. So here's the process of the application. So it starts off with the form. The employee is going to fill out the form. And then when it's done, it's going to go to the manager for the manager to approve. All right. And if re required, he will ask for clarification. But if it's approved, it will go to the finance department. So the finance is going to approve this or reject it depending. So if it's rejected, it will notify rejection to the employee. Otherwise, if it's approved, it will notify approved for the employee. All right, that looks good. Now we're going to go ahead and look at the form. So here we have the travel claim form. So here is all of the information that it's required for the employee to fill to make the appeal. So we have the name, ID, department, travel base, destination, so on and so forth. We have the expenses, which it will show the total expenses and then we have the receipts where the employee can upload supporting documents for this appeal. Alright, so if there's any other information that is missing from this form, we can easily um, select anything from the form builder palette and we can add that here but I'm not going to do that today because so far it's looking perfect already. I'm going to publish it and we can test it out in its full for form. In its full form sorry okay so we're gonna go ahead back to the app center we're gonna click home and here we can see the travel claim app the one that we just made i'm gonna go ahead and press on submit so let's make a test form so we're gonna use the name dayang say department operations Travel dates. Mm. Let's just do first of January. Test, test. Okay, we're going to put $40. Okay, so there's the sum. Then we have to upload the receipt. So I have a test receipt here. I'm going to submit the form. So once it's been sub submitted, we can actually view it again see the details that we filled out we can add a comment if we want otherwise uh, we can reassign or we can save or withdraw but there's no changes needed here so i'm just going to leave it as it is so the next process as we've seen is it's going to go to the manager to, to um, approve or reject so i'm going to go ahead click on inbox so here's what the manager is going to see so he's going to see the appeal now he can approve it so he can write a comment as approved you can click approve and now it's been approved so the next process is that it goes to the finance approval i'm going to click that all right so the whole process is done it's gone to the employee manager and finance as we saw in the process builder so we can look back at it again this is it so everyone's already approved it it's done 
we can look here and see that the process is 100% completed. So that's how the form works. That's how the application works. And I just showed you how to create an application using the Jenny I plugin. So I hope that helps, guys. Thanks for watching.